Well, let's take a look at what we've been doing here. We've had a little time to get out to the shop. Finally got this cage all riveted in. You can see we've got the rivets done there. And we've got the rivets done up on top here, which are these guys back in here. Hopefully you can see that. Also started doing the channel here. I got the top channel. This is that door channel. Also holds up the uh, top false rib there for the windshield on top. We'll be plugging away with the firewall here. I'm going to go ahead and throw the rudder pedals back in. We'll get this uh, firewall permanently mounted up finally and then uh, on to engine mount and engine installation. So moving along slowly but surely. Lots of motivation out there on the forums. Lots of guys finishing their planes up or getting close to finishing them up. Got a Super Duty on floats ready to fly. We've got uh, Joe's uh, Crickets getting really close to starting for the first time. So lots of, lots of Zenith builders out there really making some good progress. I hope to be joining that crew soon. So uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, we're just gonna keep plugging away. Thanks guys. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got done here in a couple evenings. Uh, we got the passenger side false root, whatever they want to call that, rib, but it's not really a structural thing. It's more of a shape and it also supports the sunroof. Uh, so we've got that all in place. Just did a little touch up primer on there just to get it. I uh, always coat all these rough parts with a spray primer. This whole thing will get sprayed with actual primer when I paint the aircraft. Uh, we're gonna do a little bend like the manual states right here put a rivet in there That'll tighten that up real nice and then here on the inside you can see we've got everything All wrapped up in there now the other side we've been working on today So we've got that all click it up. We start off with the small size a4 size holes which come from the factory basically we just pilot back drill those into the uh, cabin frame tube um, once I got the lower channel drilled and riveted, or excuse me, uh, clicoed on, I then placed the rib up there and then uh, went ahead and did the upsize on the drilling on that. Got them up to the uh, finished hole size. If we go up here and take a look up top. You will need an angle drill to get up into this little triangle here. You'll have to come up in from the bottom or the top to drill these three holes because there's not enough room for a drill in there. Um, you'll be basically hand riveting this anyway, so just be prepared for that. And of course, uh, like I said, we've got the rivets and the Clecos all sorted out here. I'm going to do a little bit of trimming on this one right here. Let's see, right there. You can see the weld sticks out a little bit, so I'm going to trim that back just to give it a nice flush fit. And then we'll take everything off, deburr it, prime it and rivet it on. So by the end of the video here, guys, we'll have both the top cabin frame channel and ribs complete and installed. All right, now one thing we definitely wanna do is we wanna deburr all these holes because we were drilling through multiple layers of metal. And again, it's not much. We just wanna take off that little bit of lip there that the drill bit creates. This is fairly thin metal, so we don't want to start uh, countersinking anything. We're just trying to get off the chips there, and usually a, a couple spins. With the deburring tool is just enough to take off that little bit of edge there. Um, since we're going to also be scotch brighting this piece anyways for some light priming, you could also use sandpaper. Sandpaper works great too, light sandpaper on this. Again, because the main thing is we don't want to be burrowing out the hole. We're just trying to get this lid, the edge removed. And you can see, hopefully you can see that in the camera there coming off. Let's see if I can get one in here. 
Again, just getting that little edge off there. Take care of that. We're also going to take care of this little part right here. We use the Dremel tool for that as well. There we go. That looks good. Got the inside cleaned out. We got our uh, little channel opened up a little bit more. Onto the rib, and then we will get these put back on after we prime them up. All right, I figured I'd just show you the holes with the uh, side plates off. They're all deburred, drilled out, and centered on the top cabin frame there. Same on the inside, ready to go, all cleaned up. Well, there it is, guys, all wrapped up, cabin frame, wing root, rib, and channel cover, all complete. I just have the uh, skylight laying up there just to kind of get an idea what it's going to look like. You can take a look here. We go up on top, kind of see how that looks there. It's just laying up there, of course. Take a look at the other side here. So, one more thing done on the list. Next, we're going to move back up in the Ford cabin here. We're going to get those uh, brakes back in, brake pedals back in, and get this firewall secured up. Still working on that nose gear, but uh, I think if we get this uh, firewall finished up, we can start working on the braces for the, uh, the angle braces and the engine mount brackets on the inside. And then that way we can go ahead and get the engine mount on and we'll be ready to hang our Viking engine on there. So guys, hope you enjoyed this week's uh, little update. Uh, lots more coming. If you enjoy the build, you're building the Super Duty, building the Zenith, I encourage you to tune in. Again, it's Adam with AeroWorks. We're building the Zenith Super Duty. We've got some great sponsors, Watt, Aerospace Technology, Zenith Aircraft, and of course, we are AeroWorks Productions building this super duty here so make sure you tune in make sure you like subscribe got lots of cool episodes coming up and uh we look forward to seeing you there thanks